Welcome back to Let's Play AM2R. I'm Burning Dog Face, and Samus has made her way down into the Metroid Breeding Grounds, which is about as cheery a place as you'd imagine. Since I have to get moving, I've decided to take the one exit that does not have a shell next to it. It's probably a trap. Um. I knew it! Uh, piss. Fuck. Alright, another one bites the dust. You know, there's something I meant to add at the end of uh, video 2, so I meant to acknowledge, but I totally forgot about it. Um, in case this video does get, this video series does get taken down by Nintendo, and I hope it doesn't, knock on wood, um, I do have another Metroidvania game lined up that I can, you know, swap in as a uh, replacement, a safety net, if you will. It's Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. And you know, I really enjoyed Shantae Risky's Revenge, and I've been looking forward to playing, uh... I've been looking forward to playing, uh... Pirate's Curse, but the fact of the matter is, I really hope I don't have to do that right now. I'd really rather play through AM2R and complete the story with you guys, with the experience. Oh, I hate these things. Ah, oh, my organs. My bones! Stop damaging my bones. Why do they make such cute noises? Oh, it's on to me. You be dead! You know, it is kind of messed up for the Galactic Federation to order the extermination of an entire species of animals, even if they are incredibly dangerous. Where are you? Ah. Oh. Mmm. Taste it. Christ. We're good.
Oh, wait. I wonder how closely this game follows the map design of the original Metroid 2. I also wonder the same thing about, uh... Uh, Metroid Samus Returns, because... Well, it's so nice to see another 2D Metroid game. Really? So nice to see another 2D Metroid game that I actually, uh... I'm seriously considering uh, getting a 3DS in order to buy it, in order to support the series. It must be weird if it's basically the same experience, even though I've never touched the game before. You know, I don't know if I've ever been in that situation before. A, uh... One of these HD remakes where I've actually played the actual game before. And I've played quite a few HD remakes, but it's all stuff I'd never played before that I was finally getting the experience, the opportunity to. Okay, where the fuck do I go now? totally forgot to uh, jump cut back when I did the, uh, when I checked that out in the other video, didn't I? Shit! Well, I could check if there's anything behind the ship. I think there was a cliff wall back there. And the blue, the blue room with the open floor is back this way. Fuck. Oh, hey, sup? How's it going? Ancient Guardian. This sentry deploys spiked barriers and corners targets into its firing range. Its archaic design constrains it to operate at low power, preventing simultaneous use of its shield and mobility systems. Its arsenal consists of energy weapons with unique patterns. The robot was calibrated to detect foreign creatures bearing stolen equipment. Shit. So much for the DNA scan working. Uh, recent earthquakes seem to have damaged the traction of the unit and spiked barriers. Despite these complications, it remains a considerable threat. Ow. Okay, so green, stand under it. Blue, stand anywhere else. Purple? A purple duck. Not want. I didn't see the color of the one we have to jump. Fuck! Oh, wait, that was the man. Yeah. Oh, go 
god, I'm gonna die. Fuck. Got that one backwards. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I fired too early. Delicious. Actually, screw that. I'm gonna go back and, uh... Save my game. Stop it! Delightful. I just realized I could have a problem with the uh, Shantae uh, disclaimer if the video series gets immediately canned before I can get the second day's videos out. I hope not. goodies up here. Huh. Interesting. They uh, you still put the wall image there. Fuck. Ham! I need to go back and do the whole thing again. Ham isn't a very good explanation. Uh, exclamation. Let me try... Crap. How do I do this? Interesting, the morph button, uh... Does not include the uh Oh god damn it, there's an item statue up there. Does not include the spider ball. Uh fuck. I believe there was lava here, or fake lava, or whatever the fuck it is before. Damn it! Now you're dead. So, oh, that's right. I want to tell you guys another useless fact. Um, in the original Metroid, when you get the Varia suit, it just changes the color palette of uh, Samus's suit. You know, so she looks different.
And when you change your, uh... Nice. I still want to check out what's behind the ship, but... Ah! And when you change to the missile mode, it changes uh, the color of your arm, and because of the color limitations of the uh, NES, it also changes the color of your uh, helmet's visor, but you know, never mind. What? What is the point of this? Maybe I need to come back and have the air jump. Doesn't really matter, I can well, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Well, assuming that's in this game. Um Yeah, so the uh they change colors for when you get the Varia suit and when you use missile in Metroid 1. rather quickly when they were making Metroid 2. They, that's not an option, since, well, Game Boy games are in grayscale. I would say black and white, except it was really more like black and pea soup green. So, they needed a different way to visually differentiate when you have the missiles on and when you have the well, when you have the missiles on or off and when you have the Varia suit on or off. So that was the game where they came up with the end of the gun changing in order to, you know, when you're in missile mode. And it's also the game where they gave uh, the Varia suit the big round football player uh, shoulder pads. Okay, fuck that. And they actually liked the look of that so much that they kept that look ever... They kept those conventions ever since. Even in the games that were back in full color. I guess all of the games instead of been back in full color. Oh, what the hell? There's a door back here. So there is! But how? Oh. Almost went right off the edge. That would have been embarrassing. quiet here. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, Jesus! 
I didn't see that coming. Could I even do something like that in the Game Boy? Maybe this was like a peaceful room with like mon- uh, or, or they had monsters coming out of the pipes and they're messing with people who played the original? and didn't take as much damage. No. But... Hydro Station. This ma uh, the massive facility at the center of this reservoir filters and pumps water through enormous pipelines. These pipes come out of the complex and disappear into the surrounding rocks, presumably to supply other buildings further down the cave system, with clean water. Though abandoned, most of it remains functional. Robotic activity is detected inside. Really poor timing for this to happen. Shit. All right. I guess I gotta make my way back if I can. I guess I'll do that, but in the meantime, I'm going to call it a video. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play... I was going to say Beyond Good and Evil. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play AM2R, when we uh, go back and investigate the Hydro Station. Find out why it's lacking a uh, save point. Later.